Good morning, everybody. This is 2 Kings 12, 14 to 15. But they gave that money to the workmen, and they repaired the house of the Lord with it. Moreover, they did not require an account from the men into whose hand they delivered the money to be paid to workmen, for they dealt faithfully. King Jehoash had wanted to repair the temple of the Lord. The people of Judah offered freely for this. And then, as our text says, the money was given to the workmen who did the repairs. The overseers of the workmen had a wonderful testimony. They were trustworthy with the money. There was no corruption, no scandal, no selfishness or self-seeking, no diverting of the funds to someone or something else. None of them was secretly taking a little bit for themselves. They were scrupulously honest and entirely faithful. Praise God. They did not need outside supervision. Nobody needed to check the accounts to make sure that every penny was correctly spent. I have no doubt that if through some accident some money got lost, such men would have put it back into the funds out of their own pockets, even though it wasn't their fault. If we need to be policed by anyone or anything outside of ourselves, it's probably the case that we haven't even begun to understand what it, it means to walk in righteousness. If we are secretly doing the wrong thing, we are deceiving ourselves if we think that nobody knows. God already knows. And at any time, he is able to bring it all into the light, if he so chooses. Thank God that he is very gracious. And it seems to me most often he does not humiliate people, but gently leads them to private repentance when necessary. The one we follow is called faithful and true. He makes the crooked places straight. He smooths the rough places in his people. Today, we all need to be able to say of ourselves that no outside accounting needs to be made of our lives because by God's grace, we are faithful men and women. If our conscience doesn't allow us to say that, we need to get on our knees, repent and put our lives straight. Amen. Have a great day.